Okay, so uh, we've got the impression, or at least I have the impression, that in the world we had at least two major world reset events that defined uh, they define the current society and the current like uh, what happened in the world at least in the last three centuries, which is three hundred years. So going back to uh, the year one thousand seven hundred or seventeen hundred, I suggest that there was a some kind of cataclysm which could be artificially produced. No problem, it's something normal. That cataclysm happened uh, 300 years ago, followed by a time of civil renewal, uh, also political intrigues and power struggles in the world. So we're speaking about after the reset between 1700 and 1800, the uh, 18th century, which then epically uh, culminated into a world war, which could be the, the first big world war. Um, before the first world war in 1918 so this war started sometime around 1800 between two major big factions one of which has been omitted from history obviously the one that lost and this uh, planetary conflict was uh, was not short of like wasn't short it was like well it wasn't long but it was not short either it was like some decades it lasted decades in the 19th century it ended around 1900 so the beginning of the 20th century and that was the cleanup of um, swallowing the remnants of the old kingdoms so were the old kingdoms the remnants of the old kingdoms are india japan china tartaria or tartary and other places in asia central asia east asia etc and what we have today russia or the former soviet union let's see a bit about the original timeline so this is just a something that you can work back on and you can actually i mean it's not written in stone but you can actually think of ways to actually improve this uh, as a guide so we have the year 1000 let's start 1000 years ago because we do not know what happened before the year 1000 uh, globally not globally because if i say if i say globally then the earth is not a globe anyway so it's a world connected civilization which gets destroyed flooded due to an un unknown event so this is probably the the flood that you we speak about in the bible and other other books and um, possibly this is a high-tech and highly spiritual civilization humans all of a sudden become divided so babylon or sorry babel the tower of babel as we know it as a history humans become divided multiple fractions different languages and before this uh, they say that no modern oceans existed they only had like small oceans or seas or lakes and it was big continents <clears throat> excuse me and then these continents were called after very prominent leaders of the time Two centuries after that, in uh, the year 1200, as we call it, Anno Domini, uh, the people come together to preserve the pre-flood knowledge. They try to live in harmony, and these figures, like these avatars, like Jesus Christ and Buddha and Krishna and Mitra and all these uh, divine figure types, they appear during these times. In the year 1300, there was efforts to make... Um, a world map with the Mappa Mundis. The figure of Julius Caesar came into place at that time and he was the proponent of mapping everything. Then up to 1400, so 1400, kingdoms and authorities got established, the century of flourishment and money was used, economy, the world was already set up after the flood. But between 1400 and 1500, another world catastrophe happens, um, earth is expanding, the oceans are created bigger, uh, modern America appears, that's why probably modern America is said to be discovered at the late uh, 15th century. Not, it's probably because it was something happened and all of a sudden something happened in the West. But it also could be that America was there beforehand and with lots of cities, so everything is possible. Now, most of these, um, what happened then is that climate uh, gets to change in the 1500s, so it gets worse, it gets colder, and the last survivors of the pre-flood civilization, they die out. These survivors are the giants. So the giants, the survivors, they die. You only have like some remnants in Tartaria, which are not giants anymore. They only have some of the DNA. And also the mythical creatures that we call dinosaurs and unicorns and all these um, uh, genetic experiments because we call them legendary mythical creatures, but they could just be genetic experiments. You combine different genes and you have what we know of legendary creatures in stories and video games and movies. Between 1400 and 1700, these three centuries that lead all the way up to 1700 when we have the first big huge reset after the flood, kingdoms are being reestablished. Life goes on and people, they do their best to survive. You have the four seasons implemented in the world, um, which could be something that, um, I guess, if you have like a different type of sun, 
uh, before this maybe the, the the other son because they say there was a time in the world where you have like three sons and two sons and several sons it could be that because of those more than one son you had like a proper uh, temperature all year round right and then now we only have one son and that's it so um the people started to create religion between the 1400 and 1700 because after the 1400 catastrophes the memories of what the gnostics um, and other groups uh, tried to achieve they faded away the independent gnostic groups or the the harmony people as we call them they fight against the corrupt church institutions in central europe and the secret societies um it actually says in the bible uh, and i'm not like saying this is like written in stone but you know if you read the bible with different eyes uh, it's you you totally understand lots of things right so they say for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers and against the rulers of the darkness of this world the darkness of this world not uh the darkness of whatever uh hell or the devil or something like that so the they understand these people the independent people they understand that evil creates uh, pyramidal chains of commands that transcend individuals and writings are shared also between those groups which are rewritten so that's the thing you see so the church has rewritten all those writings during the 1600s to 1800s and by the time 1800 came along uh, the bible was pu published as we know it today so the bible pretty much probably has about between 200 and 300 years something like that the 30 years war the famous 30 years war in the 17th century is the encrypted and distorted memory of that fight between the independent people and uh, the institutions and the ones who control so the new world order as you call it and then the church decides to add 1000 years to recent history so the one the the, the hidden millennia or the added millennia and invents a new calendar which is enforced in the whole world and then uh, the other competing native calendars they're destroyed by the end of the 17th century so 1700 another global cataclysm uh, well the world I'm keeping in global because i'm indoctrinated um the other world cataclysm hits with a second earth expanding event and then climate gets really really bad and the dark forces begin to envelop the whole world uh, as they know it and then these th this event destroys most technology that was still around from the past and creates the last survivors of the ancient kingdoms so um tartaria china india and japan and also you have the secret societies and the churches really really with lots of power and then what happens then is that they invent new maps they make new maps and they make the globe and between 1700 and 1850 um tartaria and which is the last the last remnant of the old kingdoms and all the others in these 150 years they get destroyed and they get um they get omitted so by 1850 it's the end of the end of the end of everything that was still remaining so science is also established and in this period and then science as we know today started or end or it was pretty much implemented in in the name in the 19th century and it destroyed all the cosmology that we also know it's true which is the flat earth and there's no curvature and stuff like that which if you say it today you're a crazy person because that's how the system works and then another cataclysm happens um something like around 1816 with the year without summer which is registered in history and a surviving concept and it doesn't destroy as much structures as the other events do but it destroys lots of human lives um they also they give rise to the industrialization so after this event in the 19th century the industrialization can, comes along so the small groups that are connected to the european churches and the secret societies they secretly kept all the pre-1816 knowledge which is uh, something to do with the knowledge from like centuries ago and they slowly reintroduced that's why we needed approximately 200 years since the beginning of the industrial revolution to actually come to a place where we have smartphones and computers not because they discovered this technology but because they re-implemented it uh, slowly and um, uh, after the reset so pretty much we, it's an experiment to be honest 1900 uh, the last remnants are destroyed and then of course there's still something left so that's why in, in the 20th century was so problematic because communism was invented communism was invented to destroy the remaining high culture in the eastern parts of the world but then in the western parts of the world which were already like pretty much assessed to be okay but they still had two world wars so the communism and the two world wars and then the cold war and everything led us to the end of the 20th century and the beginning of the 21st century and now pretty much everything is just a legend of the legend of the legend memories faded away so the, these uh, the cultural reset of 1700 
this is what creates all the ruins, right? Because all these archaeologists who say we have these ruins which are like 2,000 years old, they're not 2,000 years old, they're actually 300 years old. So all the ruins they were ruins in 1700 because of the catastrophe and all the paintings from the renaissance in rome and italy uh, they're not from the renaissance they're just showing what happened in the pre-flood time so the flood time and the previous days of uh, before 1700 with that high-tech civilization and um, this 1700 event is when africa probably was turned into a desert so the sahara desert and when south america turned into a forest the amazon forest and because all the trees in the world they pretty much the oldest tree in the world is probably 250 years old so i've seen that in russian scientists they said it's impossible no matter what you do to actually um, go further beyond 250 years 300 the most in ancient trees uh, and then the north hemisphere as well where we have the north pole in hyperborea uh, you have Siberia and the north of Canada, north of Scandinavia. As you can see now, it's a very, very problematic land to live on because it's that's the border between our world and the other world, which is beyond the borders of the north. Um, and the ice wall as well, which, of course, if you go uh, above the ice wall, you'll probably see lots of things. And then there was this world war in 1800. So this world war in 1800, it counts as a sort of what caused the mud flood because we have all these buildings with mud flood and covered in mud. And this creates the buried buildings and then also destroys the American cities happen. The destruction, we have, we have all these fires in the States and Canada. Each one of the cities had fires across um, the first years of the 19th century. And the following events, like these events, for example, which I'm going to say right now, the destruction, so the burning of the American cities, the American Civil War, the Madrid earthquake in 1812, which previously to that was the mystery eruption, volcanic eruption in Indonesia in 1808, and then the Great Comet in 1811, which was not a comet, was probably a, a missile or a weapon, and the War of 1812 with Napoleon and the Year Without Summer in 1816, Napoleon in Russia, and the mud flooded build building. So everything in just that very short period of time between 1800 and 1850. Um, and these both events, so these huge events in 1700 and 1800 would be tied together, of course, uh, and what's, ev so, uh, what's very interesting is what happens between, so in this century between 1700 and 1800. And probably the, um, what they, there's people saying that the neoclassical buildings, which we have today in the world, they were actually built after 1700, but using technology which we do not know about. So they had the technology after the post-catastrophe to build these buildings uh, but we're not allowed to know about that it's just a theory but it's very possible and um and again the the preset so the 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 pre or the setting for the war of independence in the states it's uh, the war of independence independence was not a war between the usa and great britain according to other sources it's a war between the coalition of usa and great britain versus the original inhabitants of north america who are also the remnants of some other empire from the past and there's also some evidence that um, what happens today uh, or what happened with napoleon in russia is definitely not what uh, official history says and um what else what else the um, Regarding the enemy, some people say, so who was the enemy uh, who was wiped out of history? We do not know. Uh, those who conquered, they're called the forces of darkness, as some people call them. But those who are ruling the world today, uh, they won a war. Uh, I'm guessing Tartaria or Tartary was part of that war, but they were the remnants of a different empire. So we do not really know who the actual enemy was and if they were an enemy or they were the good guys and they just lost and how they lost and if that's true or not but it's just it's just like a an, an allusion to what might have happened but it's still more in, more interesting more important than what the boring stuff i've studied in school which was so so boring like literally an, an insult to human intelligence but anyway i'll see you guys in the next video with more interesting stuff take care